Yo, what's up you guys? Back today with another video out on the water, fishing with my buddy Michael. And uh, we, neither of us have been out on the water for a while, so we thought it would be fun to grab our rods, hit the river. It's cold, but it's not windy, so it seemed like some good weather. Fishing our local river here. Uh, gonna try to find some trout, white fish, whatever, I'll grab our line basically. We're just itching to catch some fish. But I thought I would take a few minutes today to talk to you guys about tips for fishing with friends and kind of the strategy the two of us use while we're out fishing together. Okay, before I get into the first tip, I'm gonna jump down here in the water and see if I can find a fish because uh, I'm itching to itching to give it a go. It's been a while and I wanna see if I can find a fish. So let's jump down there, see if we can get one real quick. Okay, I got two flies on. I'm going on a Pertagon and then a little oil slick betas pattern. And let's see if we can find a fish. Michael's up above me fishing another little spot with some structure. Okay, switching flies. Okay, I put on a heavier, like, tag nymph, and I wanna see if that makes any difference. Different color bead. Oh, there was something there. Different cover, color bead, I went up to a 3.5 millimeter bead. Super deep here. See if that makes any difference. Surprise. We found any fish yet. There's a fish. Woo, he's jumpy. Ah, got downstream of me and broke me off. Okay. Well, that fish ate the little tag nymph, so. Uh, replaced the one that I lost there and let's see if there's another fish willing to eat okay new spot we'll try this spot I got an egg and a uh, hot tag waltz gosh this fish is like Really not wanting to come over where I am so that I can net him. And there he goes. It's a cool looking fish though. Nice to be on the board. And bye bye. Okay, I'm kind of in this slow ripple here. Got a small little tiny size 18 caddis pattern. Let's see if we can pick a fish out of here. There's a fish. It's a good fish. Feels like. Oh, see if we can land this guy here. Ooh. Steer him over here. Into the net. That's a cool fish. He's got lots of spots. I like it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool fish right there. Little caddis in his mouth. And away he goes. Okay, so we're headed to a new spot and that leads me to my first tip, okay? The first thing that I would say when you're fishing with a friend is to figure out what style you're gonna fish with that person, right? Today, we're kind of sticking together we're doing a little bit of leapfrogging. And what I mean by leapfrogging is I'll fish one spot and Michael will go up and around me above me and then I'll leapfrog him the whole way up, right? We'll just keep leapfrogging, but sometimes we'll take turns, right? We'll go to a spot, we know it's really good water and we will go fish for fish, right? Like Michael catches a fish, I catch a fish and we go back and forth. But it depends on the water, right? For this river where we fished quite a bit, we like to do leapfrogging for water that's new water, it's best to kind of do spot to spot, fish for fish, because it's all new water, right? You want to fish it all, you want to see it all, and so if you take turns, that means you both of you get a chance to fish that water all the way through. So that's tip number one that I would give you. Figure out the style you're gonna fish with that person before you hit the water. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but my jacket is just absolutely shredded. I. I use this jacket when I'm fishing and I just kind of like plow through brush and stuff and it's uh, looking like it might be time to turn it in. It's got so many rips. I went through some bushes today and it's just like, 
It's just crazy rip, so might be time to retire this fishing jacket. Yeah, oh, it's a good fish too. Nice. Who cares, man? It's a fish. Oh, nice. Rainbow. Okay, so good day so far. We're catching fish, which is always fun. We're getting on them. The water's getting a little bit warmer, I think. The air temperature's getting warmer. The fish are getting a little bit more active. And so I just wanted to share with you guys the second tip that I would give you for fishing with friends. And that is to make it as equitable as, of an experience as possible. So when I'm out fishing with somebody, depending on their skill level, uh, I like to make it fair, right? So. If I've caught three or four fish, I'm gonna start giving the best water to my buddy so that he can start catching fish because it's only as fun as you're both having, right? And so trying to get that level, that playing field, keep it even uh, so you're both catching fish and having fun is key for me at least. Uh, I know sometimes it can be fun to like jab each other and give each other a hard time, but I think you can still do that even when you're sharing the water and uh, sharing information and learning from each other. So it's tip number two, share the water. Okay, I moved to a new spot. I'm giving Michael's rig a try. Uh, just to try out this, this reel that he has. Oh, <laughs> that's a stud. Let's see if we can land this fish. Let's see if we can, it's a good fish. Try to put some side pressure on him. Oh, it's heavy. Wow, what a cool fish. Oh, got him. So we'll get him out. Okay, he's out. Really cool dark fish though, there. Really awesome, let him go. Let's try out this uh, new Sage ESN reel here. Uh, that's my buddy Michael's. See if we can get another fish off this little edge here. There's a good fish. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Let's try to steer him back this way so that I can get him out where the rest of those fish are. Man, I got a cork and he's just, he can't turn it. And I haven't seen it yet, but it feels like a good, oh, it's a big rainbow. Nope, back here, back here, back here. Up, 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 up. Into the net, nice. That's a stud fish right there. I'll hold it up for you. Really nice, healthy rainbow there. Cool fish, nice, looks like a jack. Really healthy fish, cool. <laughs> you guys see this fish? <laughs> coming across the top. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that fish was just like flying across the surface of the water. I hope you guys can see that, but <laughs> not a huge fish, but he was just going nuts. Cool little rainbow. Okay, so there's some deer up on the hill, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've come down, kind of, we've come up river a little bit and there's a new spot that we're gonna try to see if we can find some fish in. We've had good success. Again, we're finding fish, which is really cool. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about a third tip for fishing with a friend. 
and that is to work together on your strategy. So a lot of times you get to a river and you have no idea what's working. And so what I would suggest doing is strategizing on your fly choice and kind of your presentation and then share that feedback with each other until you've kind of dialed in what's working. Two minds are better than one. So work together as a team and you'll have more success. So I'm gonna jump down here, see if Michael's found any fish yet and see if I can find some fish. Let's do it. It's not even fighting. Ah. What the? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not a world record though. White fish. Gone fish. So Michael just caught a white fish after the white fish that I caught in the exact same spot. It was about uh, a similar size. I think it was a little bit smaller, but it seems like we found a pocket of white fish. So the last thing that I would tell you guys as far as fishing with friends is make sure that you're having fun, right? If you've been out a lot of the day and you need to take a break, sit down and eat lunch together, bring snacks for each other, and just make sure that whatever you're doing is fun, right? Uh, there's nothing worse than one person having fun and the other one not. And after all, we're just out here in wildlife to have fun, right? And I think that that's, that's the reason that you go with somebody is for that conversation and to have fun with them. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you're having fun. And uh, we're gonna jump back down here, see if we can find a couple more fish before we go. That's been a fun day so far. That's a good one. They're just further back in the right. Whoa! Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. I definitely did not hook set it very well because I didn't even know it was on. I know. You went to like recast. Yeah. Well, oh, he got it good. Okay, let's try this little pocket right here. See if there's any fish on this little riffle edge here. There's one. Woo! That's a decent one. That's a cool fish. Pretty cool fish though. Pretty fish. Not a lot of spots. What a fun day out on the water that was. I love getting out and fishing with friends. It's super fun. You know, it's all about having a good time. If you catch some fish, great. Working together is fun. Just kind of figuring out the water together. I love doing that. So yeah, those are kind of my top tips for fishing with friends. If there's anything I missed, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you like to do when you're out fishing with friends. Maybe what's your strategy. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that like button if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, until next week, catch fish. Yeah.